In this video, we're going to be introducing a new notation, the notation of an integral, as a way of talking about the area of functions. So we have this funny symbol with, a, with an a and a b next to it, f of x dx equals the limit of the sum of the Riemann rectangles, which of course equals the area. So what exactly is going on here? The a and b, these are called the limits of integration. And of course, for an individual function, this is just the lowest value and the highest value. We're trying to figure out the area of the function underneath the function between points A and B. F of x, the actual function under which we are finding the area, the actual function in question, this we call the integrand. It is the thing on which the integral is operating. This symbol, which looks like an elongated S, and in fact, that's what it really is. It comes from the letter S. It was introduced by Gottfried Leibniz. This is the integral symbol. And so the way we read this whole expression is the definite integral from A to B of f of x. Now, why are we using this word definite? It's a definite integral because here we're specifying limits of integration. And as we'll find out several videos from now, it's also possible to talk about integrals where no limits of integration are specified. That would be an indefinite integral. But let's put that on hold right now. The definite integral is how you find area. And just to establish some, some basic ballpark rules, if we have a function that goes above the x-axis and below the x-axis. So suppose a is here and b is here. Well, if we're finding the area, the way this is going to work is any area that is above the x-axis, we're going to count that as positive. But any area that is below the x-axis, we're going to count that as negative. And so, in fact, if we found the area of this function from A to B, it would be that positive area, that area above the x-axis minus the area below the x-axis. That would be the net area. Now, the reason for doing this will become clear once we start talking about applications of the derivative, applications of the integral. But this is a basic explanation of integral notation. 